The Wikipedia article for Raya cites your failed attempt at picking up Cara Delevingne. Are you serious? Shut the f up, dude. No shot. No, 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 it doesn't. No, it doesn't. That's not real. That's not a real thing. No, 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 no. That's so embarrassing. All right. Men rank themselves by their dating profiles. Let's go, dude. Finally. I'll be honest. I don't know if you're a one spot. Mainly, no, and the, the only reason why is because the first photo of you looks nothing like you do now. That is true. This is like, sounds like Kylie Minogue, dude, or Minogue. How do you say it? Anyway. Oh my God. I had a sexual awakening to that. Can't get you out of my head. I go with Tinder and Bumble, but Tinder I feel like I get a lot more attention on. For me, Bumble, it's mostly the quality of people that you meet. This is me, you know. I like the first picture. Um, you should leave a comment if you work on being a better person for yourself, your friend. Oh, bro, come on, dude. Come on. My beautiful, sick brother. What is this, dude? First time subbing consecutively. Oh, that's Start so whack, dude. Addiction. This is like, this is poison for a dating profile, okay? Unless you would like, straight up want to be a magnet for for like just the worst i i don't know oh usually leave a comment if you work on being what a better you person for yourself your friends about. family society all while accepting your quirky goofy self friends family society all while being your quirky goofy self i like that this is me reading to my brother's dog smart for the dog <laughs> very smart <laughs> yeah, very smart <laughs> So, you know, candid. You're verified. Got the verified check. We got the vaccinated sticker. Gotta be vaccinated. Great photo. Oh, wow. Gotta rock the dark saber. Gotta rock the dark saber. And the bio is... This man has an incredibly powerful underbite. Like, he's got, he's got like, the straight-up Chad jaw going. I just moved to Long Beach. I need someone to show me around. Um, I'm honestly just a big nerd. And look, I have no reason to be on here. So let's skip the small talk and just go on a date. I feel like Nick and Rick are like well-established people who know who they are. And I feel like when it comes to dating, that's a necessity. Less than three. All right. My profile tomorrow. Or it is tattoo apprentice. Yeah, this is a great first picture. Sorry. Gentleman by day, philosopher by night, lover by choice. Oh my God, dude. Dating profiles are so bad. Is there ever a dating profile that isn't like incredibly cringe? I feel like everyone's dating profile is kind of like this though. It's Let's just like so bad, but this, oh my happy. God. <sighs> what is this? My Tinder bio was looking for a cute leftist girl to seize my means of reproduction. And that's how I met my girlfriend. Jesus Christ. Okay. That's pretty, that's pretty bad too. Mine just says here, here, here you go. I haven't posted new photos at all. My facial hair could be at any stage, could be at any stage at any moment. Talk to me about puppers, politics, anime, video games. That's it. LinkedIn? I don't have a LinkedIn on there. What do you mean? My profile song on Raya. Counting until brain my works. profile song on Raya is Huspy Dubby by Sammy Yusuf. Yo, I, I really got to change that. What the f am I doing? <laughs> I, sh I definitely should change that. Kate Bush? True. I should. Wuthering Heights. That's right. I'm doing it. I'm doing Hustle. it. That's a great one, dude. Fuck. Good, good call, chatters. It's me, okay? Has right as left. You should add a hundred million uh house owner. Yeah, I should do that. You're right. Yo, dude, you gotta stop, dude. Hey, hey, hey. Person in the chat, you know who you are. The weird lady who's writing stuff like, I wanna serve you, I wanna meet you, I wanna serve you. It's not happening, okay? Stop. Stop writing weird shit in the chat. Jesus Christ. So weird. There's like 28,000 people in here, dude. You should add the top of the hour ad break to your dating profile. The real Barbie doll, whatever. Goddamn.
Okay, Kate Bush. Let me change it. Let me change my song. Have you ever pulled with that in Raya? Yeah, of course. Don't worry about it. Right. Thank yeah. you. Do your chin, yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> Gentleman by day, philosopher by night, lover by choice, rebel by fate. Oh. Currently. <laughs> oh my God. Chad, remember when you guys said my dating app profile was not good? I mean, then there's this, dude. Currently apprenticing at a tattoo shop. I spend all of my free time finding scenic views on my motorcycle. Pro, I'll cook for you. Con, I'll eat all the food I cooked for you. <laughs> I'm honest. This is my profile. It's on Hinge. Um, I first begun with like a prom, like Tony McGuire's the best fireman, and then I'm a software engineer. And this is just a picture I I put like after graduation. Me and my friend were uh, drinking champagne in front of our school library. And then this is just a picture of like me and this dog found in Peru. This could be us. Like, <laughs> <laughs> That's clean. That's good. That's clean. And then this is just a magic trick I did. Yeah. Whoa. Wait, what? Yeah, I mean. Okay, this dude is actually this dude's profile is like not bad. Like, what does he say? Opening sequence picture i i put like after graduate like this is cringe this is kind of cringe it's like real a little too fratty i feel like i feel like this is a little too fratty but other than that but he's also like definitely young so that's probably and where man, that comes from talking. but like this is a decent profile and by decent i mean like by decent i mean just like he's it's not an immediate l you know what i mean it's not like super cringe engineer and this is just a picture i i put like after graduation me and my friend were uh drinking champagne in front of our school library and then this is just a picture of like me and this dog found in peru this could be us it's pretty good <laughs> guys fellas i like it here. ladies do not listen to this part okay this one's for the fellas only always put a photo with you and a dog on your profile is a cheat code straight up okay Straight up, absolute cheat code. Okay, the the best the best balance on a profile like this is if you have you know maybe a tasteful shirtless photo that is like con contextually appropriate, not the first, not the second, like later down in the line. And it's not a it's not a guarantee. You don't have to do that at all, by the way. But if you if you want to flaunt it, like you know maybe you're at the beach running alongside a dog or something. Okay, shirtless pics only if it's like super contextually appropriate. Uh, I know I started out with that, so it makes it seem like I'm saying like literally definitely do that. It's definitely not something you need to do at all. And as a matter of fact, in most circumstances, the shirtless pig will make you look like a douchebag and will actually make you uh, make the girl not want to uh, go on a date with you unless they're like super shallow and you have like a really, really good uh, body. Okay. No mirror pics. Don't do that. Definitely don't do that. Okay. No holding up a dead fish or a dead ant. Don't do any of that. Completely just, you know, th this is like, you're, you're, you do any of those things. It's like, you're basically just stating like, I will, I don't want pussy at all. Okay. No dead fish, no dead animals. Definitely, definitely. Uh, photo with a dog is key. Shirtless pic might make me look overweight. Yeah, don't do that then. Flaunt it if you got it. Hi, Hassan. Hi, chat. Best advice for dating profiles. Just put pics of you by yourself or you having fun and have a personality in your bio. Don't try extra hard to be quirky. Is this good? Yeah, it's pretty good. Good job. That is good. You got not one, but two dogs. One of them is like a little pupper too. Problem is, like, if you have a black dog, it's just, like, hard to take a good photo with a black dog. Unless you're wearing, like, all white or something. But good. Thanks That's a good photo. Me. Bro, hog girls love holding up dead shit. I mean, listen. I, I can only speak to what I know. Dating profiles aren't what they used to be. What the fuck is this? Okay, we'll look at this in a second. Cooking photo could be good. For sure. You know? Show something that... Show something that, like, uh, you know, you're, you're, you're active in, that you're involved in, that you enjoy doing, you know? No, your fish pictures will never kill it, okay? No matter how sick you think the fish you caught is, it smells bad, and, and think about it like they can smell it, okay? 
Oh, do I post dead animals on Grinder? I don't want pussy. Dog, if you're on Grinder, you can put whatever. No, Grinder is entirely different. Like, from all I know of my friends, if you're on Grinder, just all shirtless photos, mirror selfies, everything but the dick. I guess you can't show your ISIS, I hope. Why are you even asking? If you're on Grinder, isn't it literally just like, I'm in the neighborhood, you want to And then the other person's like, yeah. And then you guys f It's not. Stop. This type of shit is That's not I'm like, lesbian. that doesn't count. We're not talking about like, you literally don't have to work for it. If you grow vegetables, like for example, does this work? No. Also, you already have a girlfriend. Why are you asking this question when it's clear that you already have a girlfriend, Chatter? Additional point, putting hide in bio is cringe. And people ask regardless. And now it's like automatically something you could put on your, on your dating profile anyway. 11 months, has boggies, has hugged. Should I as a lesbian put a photo with a cat to show I'm good with pussy? I can't speak. I can only speak for the guy, the fella's perspective. Okay. From a cishet heteronormative fella's perspective. Okay. On what is good and what's not. Now, I can, I can, I guess, uh, tell you what I, I like when ladies put on their profile. But even then, it doesn't really matter. That's good. That's, that's, that's clean. That's good. That's clean. And it is just a magic trick I did. Wait, what? Yeah, I mean, it, it's, it, it's, in, it's in reverse, but like, it's the same. It's like ace. I think we get the pictures up. What about the bio? Um, the bio is hard. I don't know how hinge works. I've never seen a hinge uh, bio, but on, I mean, look, I, I put my interests, right? Like I, I put my interests on there because like, I want people to talk to me about that shit, you know? So that's why I put my interests on as that, uh, on my profile, like talk to me about puppies. Anime, video games, comics, that sort of thing. So, and politics too. To a queen, but. All right, so it's Tyler. I got a modeling picture, right? You know, uh, lactose intolerant, but willing to indulge dairy with the right person. That's not too bad. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right? <laughs> Swipe right if you want, and then it's got the little, you know, ticky tocky thing where it's like. You know. Okay, if we think about it logically. I think a these lot two of are software engineers. Too much if you into this stuff, swipe right if you want. Front, that means he's gonna fart though. Yeah, hobbies. he's basically saying my ass be farting, dude. Hey yo, my ass about to be farting, dude. Joe Byron, more like what is your Joe Farton. You are just looking for someone to take you on a date who can afford to take you on a nice date. Software <laughs> engineer. Yeah. I don't know about that because I think it's more like you know they're looking for someone they can see themselves with, and you know I think like. Occupation it can be important, but it's like I, I feel like you know you guys have a ton of fun pictures where it's like man. the Wikipedia article for Raya cites your failed attempt at picking up Cara Delevingne. Are you serious? Shut the f up, dude. No shot. No, 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 no. It doesn't. No, it doesn't. That's not real. That's not a real thing. No, 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 no. That's so embarrassing. Yeah. Okay. You're you lied. No, it's not showing. Raya is notable, noted for his exclusivity and celebrity user base, which includes Hassan Piker, Chet Hanks, all that shit. Happy eight months. Raya is not advertised uh, and grows by word of mouth. If a user screenshots a profile, the app warns them that they may be removed from the platform. Footnote 7. Which streamer Hassan reveals failed pickup attempt of Cara Delevingne on celeb dating app retrieved on 8-21-2021. Fucking hate this. I'm not texting the CI, I'm texting Cutie Cinderella. Texting partner manager, I'm months. done. Longest relationship I've had. My BF and I met on Bumble, and our first convo was about eating Jeff Bezos and tearing down capitalism. I got banned a half hour later for trolling a Trump supporter. Found him again, now we live together. Click the link, coward. I already know what the you link is. You are so alarmingly beautiful that it's- It's okay, homie. Wait, why did it go with it? Wait, what the f- It's not even the right link. Clap. You and Kara. 
Why are you guys owning me right now? Fucking Wikipedia sucks. Let's keep going. Man, Yo, I want to be friends with you. Let's go. Let's hang out after this. Uh, you know what? I'm, I'm kind of, I, I feel like I'm pretty locked into that number two spot. I feel like I'm, so? I'm right there. Yeah. You think I so? feel like I, I, bio's got everything. Girls like taking photos. I, I'm very photogenic. And, yeah, I think he's number two, and then the other dude I said was had a really good profile is number one. I'm gonna be honest. You've got the smarts, and you've got the adventure aspect. You've got the artist style, the motorcycle, all that. I will happily take the fifth position because my bio sucks. You gotta, you ain't gotta do that to yourself, bro. Hey, if you wanna move it, that's on you. I just thought the rest of the group brought a little bit more than just the Star Wars loving nerd. I'm gonna put myself. I'll put my. Oh, no, dude, dude, dude. I, I wanted to put myself. I want. I wanted to put myself at four. Now I look like a dick. You know, what, you want me to move it over to the number one? I'll sure, sure, you know, sure. I'll thank, take thank the number you, one you. spot. Thank if y'all don't really want it, I'll, I'll take it. You know. Bro, you're. I mean, this dude is like straight catfishing, but in a good way though, because I feel like his hair is is better looking now than before. That's kind of weird. That like, if you have that kind of hair, and then all of a sudden you're like. Boom, this is what my fucking hair looks like. Actually, it's like, he literally looks better now, though. If you guys don't want it, you know. I don't really feel comfortable, like, putting myself, you know, too high in front of, like, other people just because I think, you know, everyone is different. I'll be honest, I don't know if you're a one spot. Mainly, no, and the, the only reason why is because the first photo of you looks nothing like you do now. That is true. You look nothing like that That's first photo. That's what I photo. bring to the table. That's what I bring to the table. I got so many looks that I can incorporate into my life. It's I want to put Mario. I want to right, do it. I'm just saying, Mario, this is your phone, right? Okay. I think like. Did you just say he's a white guy with braid jewelry? You think this dude is a white guy? Like that dude is white? He's a white guy with braid jewelry and his straight hair. Bro, how is he white? Like that. I feel like this is. I feel like I feel like Mario is like super dateable. Right, I'll I mean, take it. like we didn't touch Mario. Oh, That's yeah. cool. Yeah, I like. Is that dude white? You call yourself white, so I wouldn't be talking. Dude, I'm way whiter than this guy. What the fuck do you mean? I like it. I was actually thinking. He looks like he he looks poly, dude. What are you nuts? You two should go first. Just because I feel like you guys are well established and know who you are, and not not saying that you guys don't, but <laughs> this one doesn't fit there. Damn. Make a move. Damn. Make Damn. a move. That Damn. was a big move. <laughs> the outline that I laid out was definitely not what I wanted. But, well, especially with Tyler, it's. Mostly about dateability and Oh my god, everyone yeah, every every Discord Andy immediately thinks when I say poly, I mean polyamorous, cause like that's all they know. Yeah, dude, that's what I meant. No mother Polynesian. Not uh, like a one night stand. What are um, common things you see on men's dating profiles that are either like good things or bad things? Good things, um, I would say occupation. We always look at what they do. Um, we look at their pictures, shirtless mirror selfies. That's something I wouldn't swipe right on. Okay, let's see what they picked for most. Tyler, it's good. Told you. A lot of emojis. The last selfie is... Wait, no, I literally said don't do a shirtless mirror selfie. I said shirtless only in an appropriate context in very specific circumstances. And I literally said no mirror selfies. Why are you saying Azan? Did you not understand what I said? I, I was straight up right. Kind of like he's into himself. Okay, next one. He's verified. If we go out with any stranger, we just like to know that it's actually them. He's into music, Black Lives Matter, dancing, cooking, mental health awareness. Oh, he likes the Jonas Brothers. I like the Jonas Brothers. Let's see, Ricky. Okay, that's a conversation starter. Software engineer at Google. The best way to ask me out is by saying, I like you, you're cute, let's go on a date. That's cute. Oh, these are good pictures. Okay, Ed. Let's debate this topic. Toby McGuire is the best friend, man. Agreed. Oh, a magic trick, that's cute. Okay, Mara, 26. Music, dancing, BLM. 
dude that's how commoditized blm is okay like it's like a dating app profile thing tattoo artist i'm known for my ability to gaze into your soul okay very deep okay that's oh i did not see that that's kind of creepy i'm gonna be honest okay the tinder one we might have to move them down i prefer bumble or hinge tinder seems very hookup it's 2021 i don't know the profile doesn't really attract me okay let's put ed here let's move him down i'm rearranging everything good occupation good pictures and the video helps for ricky I he's very positive good pictures Call as well. it, baby actually i might have to put him down that's only because it's google straight up i'm sorry that's google that google just put him there he does have a really good profile other than the super cringe uh the super cringe like oh believe in yourself i want someone who's a good person but like if you're a google engineer you're attractive which he is he has a photo with his mom incredibly good points okay incredibly good boy points he has a picture with a dog where he's like literally uh you know playing with a cute ass dog that's also other really good points like his, his profile was very very well rounded his prompts are better yeah i think nick should be in the middle he's a tinder but he just moved to long beach so i can see why for Marlo, i think the my ability to gaze into your soul is a little too deep for me we're just on a dating app yeah okay i'm set love you has in chat Bro, the software engineers are top two. Yep. I mean, this is one uh, person too. They should have done like multiple girls, to be honest. They should have done multiple girls instead of just like one. Because that's like one person's preference. How are you going to dictate anything off of one person? First, Ed second, Nick third, Marl fourth, and Tyler last. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. That's a big, that's a big jump. Did you place yourself first? Uh, I, <laughs> did I? I, 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 uh, I feel like. I this dude lost everything because he looks like a douche and he had a mirror selfie, okay? If you're gonna look like a douche, first of all, no girl that's like, wants to be on a Jubilee video is ever going to be the type of girl that's like into douches publicly, okay? So that's number one. Number two, um, if you look like a douche, you have to like look really, really hot. <laughs> this, dude is, this dude is already kind of like, you know, he's an attractive guy, but he's not like, my looks will keep me afloat, even if I'm like a total uh, a clear douchebag. No one was taking that first spot. No offense, but you kind of come off as like, fuck boy. See, that's, that's the thing, yeah. <laughs> I, I, uh, I get that a lot, actually. I think for me as a college student, that's what girls are really into. That's why I match a lot, I think. But all those people really want is just like a fling or something. And I guess my only question would be, I know these two are using Hinge. I know you were using Bumble and I know you use Tinder. Does the app make a difference? It does. It depends what the girl's looking for. On my end, I don't think girls look for hookups. I mean, there are a few girls that might, and I would think they gravitate towards is there a girl's profiles version of this? I would Tinder. love to look at that. I'm just going to delete Tinder after this now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm done with Tinder. I came into it thinking it was more of a look basis, but it, you can have good looks, but it doesn't mean you're hubby material. I, I think it really... My Tinder bio is queen of makeshift therapy sessions and really good scalp massages, airhead lefty. Should I change it? You're the queen of makeshift Go therapy the sessions? I don't know about that. Why do you want you want people to trauma dump on you that's kind of weird but no the really good scalp massages is awesome like if i saw that in someone's bio i'd be like yes i love scalp massages who doesn't love scalp massages dude are you kidding me also girls definitely look for hookups i don't know why people say stuff like this they make it seem as though girls are not like oh my god this is an incredible story i can't believe johnny is diving back in he's just pulling me back in when i was single they all just wanted hookups what's she talking about yeah, girls absolutely just, there are plenty of women that just want 
uh, that just want hookups. Changed my perspective of how you know the, the dating app world is. That was a confidence booster for sure. I think I was approaching dating apps with the intention of being a bit more attentive. We do, but not as much as men. This is just not true, man. I, I just like as silly as hell. Just, there's guys that want a relationship, and then there's girls that want a relationship. This idea that like girls don't want to, girls don't want to as much as guys do is just not true. Okay, I, I mean, girls are horny as. I don't know why we, we like act like this is a real thing. You have sample buyers. You live in LA. Yeah, dude. Women in LA are not real women. They're just different. You know, there's no like accountants or marketing people or whatever kind of jobs that exist everywhere else in Los Angeles is all just like horny psychopaths, dude. Come on. Come on, guys. The only difference between men and women is that like women are horny as f too, except there is a double standard. If you're a horny woman, if you're a horny woman, then you're a slut. If you're a horny guy, then that's just like the normal, established, well-defined position, you know? Attention seeking rather than actually attempting to go on a date with somebody. And I think the biggest thing is we need to kind of abolish this idea of hookup culture and get back to just humans connecting with other humans. All I ever see is looking for a serious thing only, shaking my head. Okay, well, people say that. People say that. Doesn't mean that they're like always looking for that, okay? But also, there's plenty of men and women both that are looking for relationships. Like, there's nothing wrong with that. Listen, cis men also kind of suck at sex, so a lot of straight women don't want that kind of sex, lol. I think. I think that's true. It's not that cis men suck at sex. It's that cishet men have been spoiled. They're just so lazy, entitled, and spoiled. Which, by the way, good for me, because you know I I I'm a pleaser, so I'm I'm happy with that. I was diagnosed. Even though I survive. can be some, I also can be uh, lazy as well, especially if I'm not like you know super duper into it. Can you elaborate a bit more, please? Okay. There's a lot of stigma associated with women's sexuality. Okay. Women are both simultaneously objectified and also treated as uh, people that, uh, people that are somehow lesser if they do end up engaging in, you know, sexual acts. Okay. On top of that, because of the stigma, there's a, there's a very severe lack of sex ed and, and straight up even like, uh, it, People telling women not to learn their own bodies, like explore their own bodies, masturbation and the like. And if you don't jerk off as a woman, your sex is not going to be that good either. Because you need to be able to figure out how to turn yourself on first and then adequately communicate to a guy uh, or like a long-term partner in a committed relationship how to turn you on. So because of that, dudes for the most part, don't even want to do the work anyway. And uh, you have this uh, situation where it's fucked on both ends. On the one hand, you got women that are too afraid to communicate their desires or straight up don't even know what works for them. Okay? And then on the other hand, you have dudes who are like, I don't care, I've just been nutting in two minutes uh, my entire life and, you know, women are used to it. Because every other guy is also nutting in two minutes. And women are used to that. That they don't give a fuck. Yep, I'm nutting and passing out. <laughs> I don't want to be horny anymore. I just want to be happy. Oh, it's true. I do feel that way. Hey, if you like this video, please subscribe and hit that bell. So you don't miss out on any future videos. <laughs>